Greetings everyone, and great here with another H Pyres 4 replay. So on the bottom side as the Magenta French, we have Baldus, Baldimus, Maximus. So on the top side as the blue Chinese, we have L Sensei. Does not immediately go for pure official. Most times oh, and he is going for immediately for some wood, so we do have a early fishing build for the Chinese. The French tend to go for school cavalry, and looks like he is going to go a bit more standard. So the school cavalry can go to get, horse get out some early raw knights to help them deal with the dog. But honestly, regular horsemen as well as scouts could do a little bit better due to the fact they have still the same torch damage. When it comes to this map layout, looks like most of the French resources are along the front and left. A bit of boar and two relics back down or up here, that is up a hill. The Chinese player does have boar and deer pretty close by here, as well as a bit of gold. A little bit more sparse on, on the left side, but actually quite a bit of stone though. I am still hacking up a lung. Ugh. And Magenta will spot this. He starts trying shanking that uh, villager. School cow is on the way. His bonus is incredibly far away for gold income. He needs to get another hundred and some gold. And so he looks like he just or finally got some pure official somewhere. Some sheeple have been led to glory. Wheelbarrow now being researched by the French. Oh, and looks like a line palisade walls there. That's blue scouts, not magenta scouts, so we won't see that. Skull cow is still being built. He will have adequate amount of resources to go for horsemen. Oh, Lizzo does go for a knight. Didn't realize enough food for it. First knight. Being routed way over there. It's probably a good idea to actually focus down the dock. We may see the Baddock and the Sun, a Nexus dock to help keep that area secure. Going for another round of walls there. And it's going for a large number of walls, but the Horseman Knights can still torch down pretty quickly. The Raw Knight is making his way over this direction. Not probably going to realize the pathing path is not in his side momentarily. Imperial Academy going up, not the Baddock and the Sun. And this area is now walled off. It's probably fast of time frame to go around. He may pick off the single villager. <coughs> <coughs> oh. Hmm. I wonder how much I can uh, stream today if it's really bad cough. Does to shock that villager. Very large number of fishing ships here. He may want to immediately want to go for an airship to help protect this area. Scout here, trying to torch down the uh, village. That's those 540 populations. So anywhere the village could put his one on pop cap, and he does also have a house here as well. Scout taking some decent damage there. Very close to death. Gotta be careful not to get too close once again. And this Imperial official is supervising the wood camp. Attention. Scout and Raw Knight push way forward. He may want to keep that Raw uh, Scout back since he's quite wounded. Going for a charge now. Does get a hit on one. He focuses down that one. It does take him out. Does have a single spearman here, not even hardened spearman just yet. Going for another spearman. So good, two little picks there. He does have, of course, a good number of fishing boats to even out. The French do have faster village production, so he starts slowly taking ahead and evening it out. We don't see an arrow ship just yet. I'm collecting a little bit of gold. Nothing too significant. The French has eyed for a secondary town center. His opponent now is going for Baddock in the Sun. Which put Song didn't see improving his own village production. 
the kill there. These horses moving around. Does get a good strike there onto that scout. Magenta scout is plenty healthy. His own knight is not doing so too well, well either. We do have the hardened spear in research. A couple of spearmen here. He won't be able to stand too much damage from the town center. And a couple of good pokes can probably take up the raw knight. He does have 57 health. Each strike will do 28 damage, minus 3. But 25 damage. So it'll take 3 strikes to take up the raw knight. And now I do have survival techniques and forestry now being researched by the French. A good number of Zinchnus now pulling on the field. Knights as well as horsemen both be effective against this, but he has no scout here to spot. His four town center here can receive some damage, but can defend itself. These three villagers need to get on back. Does get a good volley there onto that Zinchnu, takes one out pretty quickly. And now we do have Siege Engineers. Chivalry now being researched because the boar is severely wounded. Magenta will be taking out four now. Got a couple spear mix being mixed on in now. He has his two original, three more on the way. Jovi's still being researched, still not going for any additional production. Going to blacksmith, which will increase getting his free melee blacksmith research. The extra armor would also help out, so the Royal Knight only takes one damage per bolt. Now the Roar Knight's down to 50 health, which means he will be two shotted by those uh, spearmen. And still no additional military production. And he did see that Baton Ram there. So going to play, be a bit of a gamble there. Now that Roar Knight is going to get some good health regen. More Baton Rams not being deployed on out. And now we've got these forces now pushed way forward. Let's say he does need to immediately start abandoning the town center. He won't be able to defend this. Now going for some has an archer and two more raw knights in the field. He is going to migrate to that deer. This villager may get picked off. Not there you go. There she gets gunned down. Counts are quickly going down here. The French player does have quite a bit of villager advantage, having three town centers on the field. More raw knights being built on the field. Some horsemen probably be good. A cheaper to help deal with the raw the Zunchnus. Going for another batting rank. This is going to try to end the game sooner rather than later. He does need to get more out on the archer range so he can focus on what few spearmen. Lose inch news over here. The villagers could run up and shank him. We do have textiles research. That zinch new does engage, and now the villagers coming up and shank the zinch new. He is micering. Roar Knight's charging away forward. Town center. Plus it was garrisoned by archers. He has a damage there on the spearmen. Roar Knights are here in pretty good numbers. That one does fall back. If he stalls a little bit, he can force to get a little bit of health back shiverly. That one villager does go down. He may want to get garrison with the outpost. There you go. And now that Zinchnu will go down. Oh, 
This is the battery as I'm moving around. Got a good number of raw nuts here. Most of them getting healed on up. No additional archers out on the field just yet. And it looks like the Frenchman is off cap. Some exposed villagers here. Only two of them gets peppered. One of them got very peppered. And house there. And these villagers could be very exposed. But now he's making its way over there. Our nice gains good healing. Archers are out of there. So I'm not sure where the archers are at at the moment. Villagers are right there. More forces heading down south. Engage these own villagers. These villagers getting pursued as well. Aaron's pushed right forward. Getting into our infrastructure damage would be very useful. Raw Knights engaging the Spearmen, all the Spearmen have gone down. And those like these villagers will get inside the garrison, but should go down. There's quite a bit of force there. And Spearmen taking out that villager. He's getting torn apart in multiple directions. This force will be cleaned on up. They'll just torching down the battery rooms. And we're villagers trying to escape on out of there. What remains of them? Spearman moving around as well. That additional archer range being pulled here does have additional stable going for more royal knights. Let's find some sushi news here. It does take them out. Push it forward, torching down the mill. Spearmen do take a volley there from the town center. There's not many spearmen here, so the Royal Knights could charge the way forward. Doesn't get a spear brace there. Does get spear braces there somehow. And now they've got double spear brace. <coughs> Royal Knights could charge into that. Just getting some damage on that mill. Quite a bit of fishing ships there. They probably have trouble traversing to other fishing fishing holes. Now I've got the melee blacksmith research there for the Chinese. Real nice to take a hit there. But they take minimal hits. Archers and Royal Knights charge away forward. Gains good damage there onto those spearmen. New there. Doing some good damage there. Archers engaging the Zinch News need to focus on those spearmen. Royal Knights falling back, take stick a bit of damage there, but the health regen from Shrively will be very useful. The damage is pretty spread out. His villagers are on the front, may want to migrate back to here. Outpost here still taking a bit of damage. Boar still has some food remaining on it. Not sure if it's worth it or not. Maybe worth it to send a handful of villagers back if he has the opportunity. Villagers now migrating over back to the deer. Royal Knights. Flanking around, not many, too many spearmen remains in this area. Position will gain some damage here. A couple of them charging forward with their knives. Battery ram now complete. They'll just do shank that Zunchnu. I'm not sure if any of them have gone down. I think one of them have gone down. Face the fact that there should be more damage from one of these models. And there goes out of berries there. Nice charging way forward, get some break damage there, takes up the batting ram. Does take out that one spearman. A couple spearmen still in the mix. Does get some damage there. More spearmen is just reinforcing. Oh, 
Position is moving around. And there goes all those forces. We do got a couple battery rams there now being pulled on out. We got a number of spear in reserve. Got a good number of archers in counter, however. He's currently at 17 archers there, 20 on the field versus 28 in Zoom News. Better him trying to make his way forward. We'll connect to the house. He does have spare ha housing. So he does, the house is fine. Roll nice charging way forward. Does get some damage there. Has some horsemen on mixed on in. Horsemen do bonus after the siege. Do, so do scouts. His better room is no longer complete. Astronomical clock tower is being deployed on the field. He may want to perhaps cancel the battery ram, fall back, wait for a timing attack with his upgrades, his veteran research. Let's get some damage there. And the battery ram does get pulled on the field. Looks like this uh, outpost is finally been set ablaze. And this fish is actually almost out. And this player is now advanced to the next age. We do now have the survival techniques been researched by the Chinese player. Now I am for... Eh, he already got most of his deer. It's going for the more deer and boar. Boar knights. Who takes out that battering ram? Royal Institute now being researched. We've got now the veterans which new research on the way. And now the veteran spearmen as well for the Chinese. Some of the fishing ships are starting going down. Looks like there is some traversable path there. But there's nowhere for them to really run. We just want to follow them to the ends of the earth, which is located right there. But this may result in distraction there, and he's forced to not pursue any further. Veteran research almost complete. We've got Royal Institute almost complete, so he needs to get his veteran Royal Knight research as soon as possible. <coughs> Lancer now pulled out on the field, multiple of them. Royal Knights should be able to deal with them in small numbers. Now got some Arboteers being researched as well. Some of the villagers were sort of brought into the fight. Some of the villagers are getting hit, allowing the archers to get some extra damage on in. Royal Knight's engaging. Spearman looks like we'll all go down, but he's going to lose most of his Royal Knights. They are veteran Royal Knights now, and of course, we get the plus one melee damage for free upon aging up. Archer's engaging. Does get a good impalement there under those Kusun Shnoos. Those numbers are really starting to dwindle. And I'll mention his fish fishing boat's a lot less efficient, doesn't get a secondary dock to the field. The blue backs all the game since his economy has stalled. This is Anne Great saying thank you for watching and on to the next replay.